Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and this is Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. This radar image from the Sentinel 1A satellite, acquired on June 6, shows part of the Philippine island of Luzon with Mount Pinatubo. This active volcano experienced a major eruption on June 15 of 1991 that injected more particulate matter into the atmosphere than any eruption since Krakatoa in 1883. In the months following, aerosols formed a layer of sulfuric acid haze around the globe, ozone depletion increased, and global temperatures dropped by about 0.5 degrees Celsius. In the upper central part of the image, the dark area is Lake Pinatubo, which formed in the summit crater after the 1991 eruption. The water level has been rapidly increasing since its formation, putting pressure on the crater walls, which threatened to collapse and cause flash floods. The Philippine government has taken measures to alleviate the pressure with controlled draining. South of Lake Pinatubo, near the center of the image, we can see another lake which also formed as a result of the 1991 eruption. When mud mixed with water and volcanic rock fragments flowed down from Pinatubo, it blocked the drainage of a nearby river. This caused the valley here, including the settlements, to become inundated by the blocked river water. These mud and volcanic debris flows are still visible reaching west towards the South China Sea. Other visible features in this image include the bright radar reflections from a shipyard on the Subic Bay to the south, and also the vast expanse of aquaculture on the edge of the Manila Bay here in the lower right. Sentinel-1A was launched in April and is the first in a fleet of Sentinel satellites developed for Europe's Copernicus Environment Monitoring Program. Although the satellite is still being commissioned, images like this illustrate the kind of data the mission will provide. Well, that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV Studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.